All right, so news has been really slow as of late. <laughs> little thing going on in case nobody's heard. A little quarantine business. Uh, no sports in the world. However, there is still some news. So first off, we have we have Chris Sale. Oh. Okay. So there's they've been talking about how he's had a little bit of I think it was forearm tenderness, kind of like what Severino had, right? Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah. Went and saw a couple doctors, went and saw the infamous Dr. James Andrews. And anybody anybody who knows if if a pitcher is going to see Dr. James Andrews, then that's immediately trouble. I mean, at that point, like, yeah, it's Tommy John. Pretty but good indicator. Away. Yeah. Yeah, but he came away and they he didn't say he needed Tommy John at the time, which I think is weird because <coughs> I'm sure that he didn't do anything between then and now. But not, not much. Out, yeah, but turns out needs Tommy John. Yeah. Now, now, Brig, when this news came down, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. Trust me. <coughs> we both have seasonal <laughs> allergies. Back off. We do. <laughs> That's right. I've got allergies. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, okay. me too. <laughs> but anyways, when this came down, I thought of the timing on this whole thing. I mean... Really, as far as medicine goes, the timing could not have been worse. Well, but yeah, absolutely. As far as the world of sports goes, I mean, to me, Brig, it seems like it couldn't have been better. I mean, what do you think? I think it could have been better. I think it could have been better. Yeah, I think he could have done it when Severino did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or even because I'm sure it was hurt back in what November. Right, right. Never October, November. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. so they probably could have done it then. So yeah, that's true. The timing could have been better. But only it just been a month ago. Only but, just. If they were hoping to get a yeah. full season out of him and now they know nobody's going to get a full season. It's like yeah. Whatever. And I'm sure you know, we'll talk about that later, but <laughs> Yeah, I think I right. like if I were the Boston Red Sox, I wish we'd have pulled the trigger similar time frame to when the Yankees pulled the trigger. Before we knew the season right. was going to be postponed, you know, mm -hmm. but you don't know, you know, hindsight and all that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hindsight, hindsight's twenty twenty, but at the <laughs> same time, you know, where they're not going to get a full season out of him, I, I think this is like, okay, you know, if you're, if this it. is the year you're going to do it, this is the year, this is the year to get it done. So. I agree with you. <coughs> Sorry, I need Kinda to a drink. Hold on. Evens the playing field a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. For us, for me, for the Yankees fans, we're like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's true because, I mean, he's been so dominant the last two, three years that, yeah, I mean. Well, when he's on. takes him out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when he's on. When he's off, it's <laughs> ugly, man. When he's on, it's like 17 strikeouts and mm -hmm. it's terrifying. Yeah, he's unhittable when he's on. Yeah, literally. The yeah. best in the business. Yeah. Him and Garrett Cole. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not actually so bummer, upset. Bummer for Chris Sale, bummer for the for the Red Sox. Yeah. But like we said, if this is the year, this is the best year to do it. I agree. 